Okay, so my next set of books is going to be texture books. And my first one is Leaf Man by Lois Elhurt. And I feel like one of my books was by her last week. Um, but I chose this for texture because the pages, I don't even tell, but like the pages are all wonky. Like they're not normal pages. They're in the shape of leaves. Does that make sense? Uh, it's almost kind of better to see in person, but like, I don't know if you can tell. Like here's like your rounded leaf and like your um, wavy leaves. And also has all the different shades of leaves. So I chose this for texture because kids are gonna know what leaves feel like. But this story is about Leaf Man and the little adventure Leaf Man goes on. And uh, I think this also is setting because it all takes place in different parts and it talks about all the parts um, toward the marsh, you blew over the fields. And so something that you could have the kids do was draw your own character flying over these specific spots. You can write them on the board. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. But I mean, if you look at the, let me try to find a really good page. Because there are a couple really good pages in here. If you look at them, the way they're drawn, like I literally feel like I could feel them. And so I think this gives a really, I think this gives a very accurate representation of what leaves look like and feel like. And it's all these leaves and they have them labeled I don't know if you can like see that they are labeled um and so I think since we have a list of leaves in the front and it's about leaf man I think the detail to leaves brings so much to this book um like I said it's just a basic book about his different adventure um but I think it I think the illustration and detail to the leaves are so important because now children um, can recognize these books or these leaves, these books, these leaves on their own when they're out on the playground or anything like that. So I think the amount of detail and the different shape of the pages and all that that have been chosen, I think they all play a really critical role in how children will interpret these leaves because maybe down the road they'll be like oh that's a maple leaf and I know that because of the illustration of that book so I think the texture I think texture when you're teaching something about when you're teaching children something like this is so important to books so I think the author did a really good job of that and portraying each leaf but mixing the storyline with it which is kind of cool so that is my take on leaf man and man my next one about texture is where the wild things are. And I chose this one for texture because of the way the illustrations are made. Let's go back. Oh, I had a good one. All of this is the best picture for me to zoom in on. All of the pictures um, are drawn, like the bed skirt is drawn with wrinkles in it and um, the blanket is drew roughly and the um, uh, blanket is drawn or the rug is drawn so it looks um, like shaggy. And so even though we physically can't feel the texture, like here we can tell they all have scraggly hair. We can tell that he has some sort of fin and gills. Um, so I think the texture is really important for this book because then we can tell the monsters apart and maybe we can talk a little bit about their fur. So I don't know if you've ever wondered where the wild things are and so many people have that I'm not going to take a bunch of time um, to rehash it out. But I would have children write about an adventure that they want to go on and they have to draw it so that I can feel, feel what their monsters would look like and how they would be. And so, like, on this one, you can tell that the very, this stuff is probably soft because it has more detail than down here, where his hair is shorter and probably more scraggly. So, I thought this was a really good book for texture, especially for older kids. Older kids don't always want to feel the book. And so, if we talk about texture and the fact of, okay, what do you think this feels like? And then you loop it all in. He went on an adventure. Tell me 
the steps of his adventure, tell me the plot map of his adventure, anything like that. I think those are all excellent literary elements. And the storytelling should basically just be a literary element because it's so important. So these are my two texture books.